Hey everyone. Advertising is all around us, and when it's memorable and effective, it gets burned into our brains so deep that we may never forget the messaging or the mascots associated with the brands. In this video, we take a look at five very famous national brand illustrated, animated, or costume product mascots that you might not remember. All right then, let's get on with it and test your powers of pop culture recall to see if you can identify these characters at the beginning of each segment before they're revealed. Number five. This mascot was used to advertise a tasty new breakfast food product that was introduced in 1964. The breakfast food product was so popular when introduced that the manufacturing company could not keep up with demand. The character was an anthropomorphic kitchen appliance, meaning it was an animated object that possessed human characteristics. Do you know what this was and the product that it was associated with? It was Milton, the animated talking toaster used to advertise Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. This mascot was introduced in the early 1970s and lived on into the 1980s. Kellogg's also licensed the character for availability as toys, refrigerator magnets, and kitchen items. Pop-Tarts were originally developed and rushed to market by Kellogg's as a competitive response to Post's similar product named Toastums that also debuted in 1964. The name Pop-Tart was chosen for the product to tie in with the gaining popularity of Andy Warhol's pop art paintings that he debuted in the early 1960s. Number 4 this mascot was, and still is, an advertising character for an international brand restaurant. The character initially appeared as part of a sign outside of the very first restaurant that opened in 1955 in Florida. The mascot was actually retired twice during the last 30 years, and is currently still active in advertising for the brand. Who do you think this could be? It is the Burger King mascot. The mascot appeared as an illustrated and animated character from 1955 until the mid-1970s when the character was transitioned to an actor-portrayed version for TV commercials and personal appearances. This iteration of the mascot was known as the Marvelous Magical Burger King. The character was retired in the late 1980s and then resurrected again in 2003 with the creepy Plasto version that we are now familiar with. That Burger King version was also retired in 2010 and then returned again in 2017. Long live the king! Number 3 This illustrated character was originally developed by a bank, but was then later adopted for use by a government agency to help encourage the general public to change its behavior. The character appeared in a promotional film with folk singers, a caveman, and running horses in the 1960s. This mascot's nickname rhymed with Trippy and was largely phased out in the late 1970s. Are you confused yet about who this might be? The mascot is Mr. Zip, or Zippy as he was informally named, and was adopted to help the United States Post Office encourage the use of newly introduced zip codes among the general public. The Post Office even produced a 15-minute long promotional film with folk singers chronicling the history of the Postal Service and how the new zip codes could help your mail get to its destination quickly and efficiently. Mr. Zip appeared in advertising and on Post Office displays, printed material and stamps, and there was even a Mrs. Zip that appeared in character alongside Mr. Zip in local parades and promotional events. Number 2 this stop-motion animated character's occupation involves ruining things and can be categorized as having gremlin-like personality traits. The character was animated for TV commercials by the same studio that animated the California Raisins. Some people became annoyed by this character when it appeared primarily in TV commercials in the 1980s and early 1990s. Can you guess the character? How could we forget the Noid from Domino's Pizza? The character, first introduced in 1986, is a villain or reverse superhero clad in a costume with a giant N on its chest, who is actually against the product it was advertising. The character caught on like wildfire and helped increase Domino's sales significantly in the 1980s and also demand for Noid merchandise such as t-shirts, plush toys, collectibles, and video games. The Noid was retired from appearing in TV advertising campaigns for Domino's in 1995 
but still appears occasionally in online advertising and on limited edition merchandise. Number 1 This animated mascot was created by Disney. The character was used in advertising for an agricultural cooperative in exchange for sponsorship of some attractions at Disney's Magic Kingdom theme park. The character's backstory was recounted on a record album by a popular entertainer of the time in 1971. What mascot could this be? It's Orange Bird, the Florida Citrus Commission's animated mascot and would appear in advertising for Florida oranges and related products. In 1971, Anita Bryant, who was also the brand's spokesperson throughout the 1970s, narrated the mascot's life story on a record album. The character's Disney roots are obvious to spot, with its bright bold colors, illustration style, and mashup of a canary's body supporting a head comprised of an orange. As the character was a Disney property, a costume mascot would wander around the Magic Kingdom interacting with guests in the 1970s. The character was initially retired from the Magic Kingdom in the 1980s, but returned in 2012 at the Sunshine Tree Terrace concession stand and on available themed merchandise. We could never forget some of these mascots, as their market omnipresence, unmistakable design characteristics and personalities caused them to be permanently imprinted within our consciousness. How did you do on identifying these brand mascots in our review? If you got them all right, you are a pop culture nostalgia guru. As always, thank you sincerely for watching, and please be sure to like and share the video, and subscribe to our channel, because we have a lot of new content to be released soon, and we want to ensure that you don't miss them.